I V M. Hello and welcome to episode twenty, which is also how old I am. And with me are my two older guests on the show, Karthik Ayer and Shivram Parmeshwaran, uh, age-wise. That is Ayer. Forget football, forget cricket, forget tennis. We'll get to all of that. What movies have you been catching up on lately, especially the Hindi ones? I know you're watching Avengers: Infinity Wars and India South Africa series, which is almost mm. the same. But uh, what else has been happening? So I saw I saw a couple. I the Hindi movies come in the afternoon for me, always. So I I managed over the past since we last recorded to catch Bazigar, that keeps coming on Z Cinema HD. So for the first time, I think I saw it end to end yesterday. I saw Suryavanshi that had been long pending. <laughs> in the brilliant, same brilliant breath, same Bazigar yeah. and Suryavanshi. Just <laughs> jump, na karte. Which floor are you on? <laughs> so I, I I enjoyed both movies equally. Suryavanshi was brilliant. Yeah. It, was, it had a, a certain Selab charm. Selab, Madan Chopra, Selab. At least you get the reference. I'm glad you get the reference. Yeah, Do then today was the... Fukre Returns, which I thought was the weakest of the of the. Thank lot. you. Yeah. yeah. So so once, so you watch, those... once you watch Bazigar and Surya Vansham, everything else just like pales. No, not even Bazigar. Surya Vansham. He's watched just Bazigar. Yeah. Oh, Surya Vanshi. Yeah, exactly. Just shit yeah. him. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Which is why I was oh, surprised. Come on. You okay, indignant. I get it. It wasn't. The beginning was a bit weak, but when the three of them come, my God, it is epic. Yeah, cop universe. This is. I am immediately, reg- of- immediately, immediately regretting asking you that question. Shivram, <laughs> we'll talk about you. Shivram is so tired. He feels that. Uh, I I uh, also the, have one the, more the, fact. I'm sorry. To oh I saw God. another film. What was the first? Jump- Sorry, what was the first? <laughs> uh, about <laughs> the movies that movies. I saw. Yeah, and now this this movie I saw yesterday, Jungli, in Vijay Jamwal, and I don't know the actress's name there. He sure. was there where he builds a sanctuary and he saves a Must sanctuary. Must be a great movie. Yeah, it is directed not by an Indian. It is directed by an American. And I've never seen that in Bollywood cinema. You so people that was are. You think movie. all Americans and all come and they make better movies and all? No, that's not true. Yeah, no, he made jungly. I'm not going to say better film at all. <laughs> no, no, he's, 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 just, he's just getting into it. Like when we were young, when we, into, when we used to go to Goa, we say, oh, so many foreigners here. My God, I'm going to hang out in all the time. And then over the years, we realize that these are, these are not the kind of foreigners, white people that you want to hang out yeah, with. Yeah, but I, I, I do not know why an American was directing a Bollywood film. I, I, Y'all have seen far more than me. Has that happened? Like... I know they've worked as ADs and they've worked as cameramen, cinematographers a lot. But to direct a film, this is something I've never, never come across. This is the first time. Make, make in India by Sudeshi. So, this is the <laughs> new- <laughs> Everyone's making in India. Shivam, <laughs> Shivam, back to you, man. How's, how's, uh, how are things, man? Are you settled it's- in the new house? Yeah, very well settled. Especially missing the North London derby was a boon. I actually got some work done because I was procrastinating, thinking I'll, you know, wait till the game and then I'll work on the site and I ended up with no game. So I had to work. So that that worked out really well for me. The other thing that I was thinking of, I think over the week, and we'll talk about this, of course, Leeds players scored a hat-trick who Karthik had absolutely never heard about. So that, <laughs> that, that you know, spurred a thought in my head. Like, let's do a quick quiz before we cut into the first break. Let's let's get the hook in early so the listeners can enjoy you know, what comes usually much, much later in the podcast is when they realize Karthik is not actually into football. But before, I think, the break, let's do a quick, quick fire, quick rapid fire, whatever you call it. I'm just going to name five, six players. Let's see, Karthik, if you can tell me which team in the English Premier League they play for. Okay, no trick questions okay. here. So, Pretty for all questions, forward. I get first shot and then Sapre goes, if I get it wrong. Yeah, I think Sapre will answer them. So, which is why okay. I'm not even including him in this quiz. Like, if you don't get it, he can then, you know, step in or I can complete it, okay? So, maybe we'll start with an easy one to just set, mm. the, set the mood and, you know, give you the confidence you need for the questions that come later. <laughs> Scott Carson. Uh, Scott Carson, I think this is a trick. So, he retired many, many years ago. What? No, no, no. He's, in the fir- he's in the first, he's in the squad for a... Hmm. Okay. For a leading okay, now, team. No, no, no. Yes, yes. Manchester City, the third choice keeper. It was shocking that he became third or fourth choice. Something is, yeah. Well done, well done. Okay. So yeah. not that tricky, right? I thought it was yeah. easier than that. Okay. So maybe this might be slightly easier depending on, like, I know Sapre already knows the answer before I even say the words. Let's, let's see if you know. 
<laughs> very close, very close. This close. Simicas. Constantino Simicas. The, 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 oh, Liverpool. Hey, not bad. Okay. Yeah, He's a defender for Liverpool. Yeah. Yes. He stepped in for yeah. Robertson many no, times over No, there. because you um, have mentioned him. I remember your, one of your tips earlier in FPL was Andy Robertson when he was hurt. It's a, yeah. it's a good time to get Simikas in the side. Well so, yeah. done. It's, so very, it's, very, to the podcast. Yeah, it's very encouraging. <laughs> you, know, you don't want to watch matches, but you are... Uh, listening this to him, yeah, I've never seen the guy play. I know he's a left back, and I know Shivram <laughs> said take him when Robertson was hurt. Pretty very much. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's go for an easier one. I think they're all easier mm. as we go. Uh, Malang Sar. Uh, Malang Sar. I am hey, either he plays this. for Chelsea or he's on Chelsea's books. It just sounds like some one of the sixty players who's there with Chelsea. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, yeah. he's actually the first team he played over the weekend. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Cool, okay. Next one. You can't I talk about championship are... players to a year. I'm sorry. That's, uh... <laughs> Arthur Masuaku. Masuaku, the Zimbabwean. Maybe. Are the EPL team. This is not Andy Sirak, Glad Flar, and Masuaku. I, I, I don't know. This is going to be a guess. Norwich? I have no idea. No, no. West Ham. What, what? Again, a West defender. Ham. Oh. United, a defender oh. for West Ham. Okay. okay. No this idea. is a trick question. Oliver Skip. Tottenham, right? Oh, not bad. It was a trick question because I I like Spurs. Yeah, Spurs. Fair enough. Fair enough. It was a trick question because Spurs are a shit team. (laughs) Okay, last of two. No, Hmm. second last of two. Anthony Elanga. Elanga played this weekend for Manchester United. Very nice. Very yeah. nice. Well, it was the first time I heard of him. It was the first time. And because of you only, I wasn't watching the game. And then you messaged saying that, oh, any United fans here? Obviously, as a joke. So, I knew what happened. <laughs> and I immediately switched on and saw, you know, the highlights that come after the, yeah, the match yeah, yeah. and stuff. Nice. Yeah. So, good. good so, job. you switched on for the highlights. Yeah. Live highlights <laughs> instead of YouTube. That's a step up. Okay, last question. We've mentioned him. You've had the same question. You thought this was a made-up name. Mm-hmm. Sambi Lokonga. Uh, Arsenal. Yes. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Shalo. Good job, Karthik. I didn't dip deeper than the first six, seven, eight teams. Because it didn't want to be that unfair. But credit <laughs> you. I think you got all of them right. I think the, the, the ones you went… One, one you went deeper, maybe West Ham. Okay, I know they're doing well. But I had they're no not, idea who yeah. Mas, Masuaku is… is. I'm assuming well, he's in you. Afghan right now. Yeah, I'm just going to say that he's probably playing for Zimbabwe there. Why do you think he's in Afghan? I, I think but he's the only first Zimbabwean, right? Or I'm getting his nationality completely wrong. Masu. I can I can Aku. quickly check for you while Aku we cut into the break. Aku. Yeah. Oh no, he's the he's a Congo in national. I'm still assuming he's at Afghan. Unless Could be. Congo didn't qualify. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to find some Zimbabwean connect. Some there, there is. There was one last. We'll, I'm, we'll sure, find I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, lovely break. question. More, more, more after the break. A hundred bucks. That's all it takes to begin your journey with Bitcoin and Ethereum. No, really. With CoinSwitch, you can start investing in over a hundred cryptocurrencies with just hundred rupees. On top of that, there are zero charges for deposits and withdrawals, so you can trade, buy, sell, however and whenever you want. All of this, plus their extremely intuitive interface, makes CoinSwitch the perfect app for beginners in the crypto space. But don't take my word for it. Just download CoinSwitch for free and try it out for yourself. If you'd like more information on cryptocurrencies, tune into a show about crypto with me, Rohan Joshi, my new adventure on IBM Podcasts. CoinSwitch, kuch to badlega. Fantastic quiz, fantastic. You should. This is the Janveer Singh uh, shit show that is going off air very soon. That should a quiz, but good. You you watched watched it? I, it oh, comes no in idea. and around. KBC, so wow, I watch KBC. For the first, watchers. first eight questions I watch KBC. I feel like really <laughs> smart about myself. So then I switch <laughs> Let's uh, let's get on the spot out of the way. All three of us like us. You two are far bigger fans of his. Novak Djokovic. Why I'm would not a you big fan? I'm a fan. That's it. You're a fan. I is a big fan. Um, so Djokovic in sol- solidarity decided Federer is not playing. Even I will not want to play this tournament. Pretty I don't much. think I will not want to play. He now <laughs> has agreed that he can't play. <laughs> and it so was he, nice of uh, England as well to finish their test match and take the same flight home as him. Yeah. Just leaving. I'm just leaving from the hotel room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He might not be able to participate in the French Open either if he is not vaccinated. So, he who's going to be injured there so that in solidarity with that person, 
जो कुछ I mean Federer is not playing France as well, so he can continue on the same. <laughs> I saw is. this amazing tweet where it said, "I can't believe the number one player is not willing to take vaccination." And someone said, "No, Serena Williams already vaccinated," <laughs> which I think made a lot of sense. Lovely, lovely. So Djokovic, uh, whatever. Happened. Australian visas are difficult to get. I will tell you, they are extremely difficult to get. Oh yeah, not, you got one, na, for visiting. Yeah, yeah. In like, in spite of my profile, it is extremely. You're going to Australia. Yeah. He went to I Australia. Went to Australia. Went to Australia. I'm rich, na. I go, go to. I've only heard of his London stories. I've never heard of this Australia. We don't tell you everything. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. दूसरा पॉडकास्ट वो एक कोई है आगे पे गोल बोल गोल गो देर बेनिट इज ऑलरेडी गॉन तो बंच ऑफ थिंग्स बंच रफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफाफ
also i think before that liverpool also pushed their previous game and arsenal played their under i think 5s or 6 or whatever <laughs> and they still managed an nil so i mean they could have easily uh, gotten something or something from the game so the second so leg is also going to be rescheduled by is their it? own rules this entire period of time liverpool have been playing yeah. by own set their own and they still they throw they still throw yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't matter <laughs> Hey, the third, third is the new second man. Looking at the way City is just running away with the league, I think third is the new second. I mean, they should not just just discount City, just streamrolling everybody. I mean, okay, let's talk about. That's what I think. I saw a tweet again uh, where it is so sad to be a City fan on a podcast. Like, what do you talk about? Like good game, good game, yeah, okay, good game, okay, bye. <laughs> That's it, right? <laughs> what do you talk about? That that is why there are no city fans, uh, Shivram. Well, you saw that amazing thing that City put up as an installation outside their uh, stadium uh, in an effort to be environmentally conscious. They put out two plastic fans <laughs> saying no plastic fans allowed, <laughs> and then Jim Beglin called it the empty heart, which he's since apologized for. But he called it oh, the yeah, empty heart live. So now, that was which, funny, man. I don't know why hilarious. you have to apologize for these things. Man. No, now you have to apologize for missing penalties and you know, <laughs> yeah, everything you apologize missing, for. Vanishing spray, galat, thoda yeah. aage piche, everything you apologize for. <laughs> it was an amazing start. Uh, Apology is the new gratitude, man. Chaka has apologized 19 times on Instagram since he joined us. Credit <laughs> 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 oh, I mean, to whoever who went and you know scrolled through his posts and found this. <laughs> but he's a <laughs> genuine, genuine apologies. He's a like genuine shit he does, right? So yeah, no, I which is I mean on the other side of United, which is <laughs> like ingenuous, <laughs> driven by PR dribble, which we have to retweet and like or get. Post from other people. My God, save us that. Did, did you guys see the Villa United match? Not the, oh, with the glee, competition. With glee. I watched it with glee. Mm. So good. So good to Ush. watch United crumble down. At the end of a game, they had won comprehensively. Should have scored more. Villa looked clueless mm. in the first half. Uh, I don't know how United managed to score, but they did score too, which is great. And then they just forgot what they had come for. And then the last 10 minutes, beautiful game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Which is why I texted any United fans. I wait for the fat lady to sing before I text because I've learned from my mistakes. <laughs> hey, but the Brighton, Palace, Brighton Palace game was fun, man. I think there's just two of us who were watching that one. That was Viera really ball. fun. Viera ball. I think Viera is going under the radar. The first goal was spectacular. They played for like 10 minutes at the back before they even brought it up front. And it was a number of passes put together and it was brilliantly done. Gallagher had to get the goal. I think they are again... They'll manage to obviously avoid relegation. They'll manage to end up like 10th, oh, 11th. Like how when West Ham and Wigan came, the first time they got, you know, they came back to the modern era of football. And they managed to finish 10th, 11th. I think somewhere around that they'll finish. But next year, I'm excited to see where they go. This year is okay. They're still finding. I think he just put this court together, still building it. Uh, they might do some January business. Uh, but it'll be exciting to see where they go next year. They're not really? the palace you palace? remember. Yeah, palace has been pretty good. I think they're a bunch of oldies team. with Roy Hodgson at the helm of it. They still have a lot of oldies on their team. <laughs> That's the one you remember. They're currently 10th. <laughs> right now, they have a lot of exciting players. Who Karthik possibly... Sorry, maybe I should have just named the Crystal Palace team. Karthik possibly <laughs> doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a bunch of good... Yeah. There's Benteke up top. There's Zaha who's useless. There's Eduard who's playing well. There's Mateta who starts. These are all pretty good players. Edward is good, man. You guys knocked him out of my... Uh, as a, I had him as an option for our season of the team so far. Yeah. Uh, but you guys like kicked him out. But anyway, the team has been... Bowen, uh, Jared Bowen is just like going crazy after uh, he saw his name on our list. Uh, yeah. FPL wise boys also. He should have, could have probably... Uh, Scored like three. Gotten that goal. Yeah, gotten that three all with leads. And City defense, you guys said take any three of City defense and they'll play well, and that's what happened. Yeah, good to see that. But uh, lov- lovely goal by De Bruyne. Oh, yeah. Heaven De Bruyne. The comms called it Heaven. Yeah, De the con. Yeah, I thought nice. how long have you been waiting to us to say that? <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne is now Heaven De Bruyne. I'm like, oh my god! It feels it's like <laughs> makes you cringe because I know that was thought out 
many times before this actually happened. <laughs> yeah, but, and and uh, you can't say it when it's a tap in or something, right? You have to yeah, you have to moment. wait for yeah. you have to pick, yeah. wait for the moment. Uh, and the other thing was they like the the panel went mental analyzing Kepa's incorrect placement. His placement is more is incorrect. No, but I thought they were unfair on Kepa. His inclusion uh, I, in the squad is <laughs> incorrect. Okay, so that placement someone needs to talk about. He did some shit in the beginning. He did some shit at the beginning, right? He came out running to kick the ball away, and he I think ended up hitting a couple of times. He scared everyone one by one. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had a and good save he uh, of Elish actually. A good save. It made a good save of Kralish. Yes. Yes. Too, yes, too much about, about too much yeah. much about Chelsea. Let's talk about the big competition. Ayers excited. Afcon. Ayers. Who are the holders? Uh, Cameroon. I mean, Algeria. oh sorry, uh, Algeria. Cameroon are the hosts. My bad. Cameroon are the host. Yeah. Uh, Algeria, Algeria suffered are, a shock uh, defeat though. But bottom of the group. Yesterday or day before. Yeah. Bottom of the group. But I want to talk about two things. Uh, what's happening here? It's it's as much fun as uh, Copa was when it was going live. It says uh, a lot because the, the pitches were much better for Copa America. The pitches are really shit. But um, anyhow, uh, uh, two two things I want to talk. First is that Obama Young. Whether it's a rumor, I don't want. I don't want to think it's a rumor. Yes, Obama Young has come out and given a statement. This is all bullshit. I don't want to believe that. <laughs> right? <laughs> he is acting like uh, English teenagers from Manchester taking women with him in the hotel at five in the morning after a drunken uh, night. Let that be the story, unless. You have a better story to tell. I don't want to hear the apology. This is a rumor story. Does anybody have a better story to tell? Because I then want to move to the Mali Tunisia match. Uh, did you see that match, or did you? The shit that went on in that match. Is this right? the referee? The one where the referee? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so first, and then they say he got some heat heat stroke. This is like typical, yeah. now When like Big Boss, me, I, I, I know you. Know, but hopefully now you will start watching Big Boss now that you've seen Suryavanshi and Bazigar and Fukre. No, and I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. You will. You will. You will. You Maybe will. you can I, compare it to Karius. You can compare it to Karius in the Champions League final where he was mm. supposedly he had a concussion after mm. which he threw the ball at Bale. Yeah. So, so it, this happens after the fact. Oh, right, yeah. 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 <laughs> after he threw the ball, oh, Sardar. <laughs> so, 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 okay, so, if you meet Klopp after that at half time, I will also get concerned. <laughs> Tunisia said we were robbed of at least seven to eight minutes of uh, yeah. extra time. He I like didn't this. finish I, You know what minutes. I love this? You, anytime the game can finish. So, you have to play hard the full time. So like oh. murder ball, like Leeds version of like anytime the referee can. Like, this is cool, yeah. Then, Maybe he's onto this, something. This referee, yeah. Yeah, I think this is this is better than Wenger. Wenger is saying make it like T20. <laughs> no, make it like T. We don't know. Like question mark. <laughs> like, <laughs> like fill in the blanks. Find X. Like the referee is like full time to come to the referee for buy yellow card. Bajao, 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 bajao. And then, I think like he will bajao and then gone. Finish. I I wish they would have. Um, Lundu we are, we are some the Villa United match at 20 minutes before 90. So, watch out for that. No, no. You should but, have given them another 10 minutes. So, they, they will win. So, it, it doesn't have they to would be have, 90. They would it have scored 20 also. five more minutes and I think Villa would have scored one more in that game. Yeah, yeah easily. Was, easily. Yeah. See how uh, Arsenal is uh, uh, budgeting uh, the whistle even before the game. They said, Nay, <laughs> <laughs> That's why Spurs got angry. Spurs had that full their uh, content was ready for match day. So, <laughs> You heard this other thing where, what was it? This is the West Ham game. I don't remember. But apparently, the last time they figured out that, the, because you know how mental FPL is, they figured out that the game is getting postponed because on the day, like the day before the game or a couple of days before the game, they cancelled their order of pies in the stadium. Mm. This time, the order has already been placed, but it looks like that the game will continue. So, like, oh, contradicting sure facts coming out of. What? No, it's pretty standard. Nah? Matlab, agar log honge, pais <laughs> anyway. oh, that is also true. Burkina Faso. Am I am I pronouncing the name right? Are we Burkina still talking about Afcon? Yeah, because I was, I was trying to, to drag you like, away with random crap. You, and no, just no, like sure. this, no, this is random, I agree. Uh, crap also I agree, but it interests me, so I'm gonna talk because there's nobody else who listens to me when I talk about shit like this. Like whatever you, time you spend on um, YouTube, I spend on YouTube watching those shitty videos. Like Burkina Faso is part of every like terrible country. I put any other adjectives video, right? They're at the top of their group, right? Do you know the one player from the Premier League that plays that team? No idea. Burkina Faso. Tell team at least. Yeah. Take a guess. Aston Villa. Aston Villa. 
Haan, but don't look at me think. I mean, that is just dead air. Okay, tell us the answer. I was at Chelsea as well. Bertrand Traore. Oh, Traore. Not bad. Mm. I, I wouldn't have thought the... of him because I haven't uh, thought of him in FPL for a while. Yeah, well, I thought of him last season. I took him for a couple of games also. Then I know, I know. I like, immediately regret happened. Yeah. yeah immediate, immediate regret happened. Lovely. He scored Let's take a... two games you took him, by the way. Did he? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, of course. I'm going so so must, be against, must be against United only for all days. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I would have taken him also, probably. It explains a lot. Let's take a break. On the, on the other side, we'll talk about... Uh, Shivram doing so well in FPL and uh, I'm not me doing so shitty in FPL actually. But let's take a break. I need a breather. A wise man once said, traveling, it makes you speechless, then turns you into a storyteller. Well, listen to such travel stories and experiences exploring India on the Musafir Stories with us, Saif and Faiza. Catch us on the IBM website, app or wherever you get your podcasts from. Shiram, is double game week over? I just don't know. Like, just matches are just flying by. I'm I don't know. It's just one game. Postponed. This entire year is one game week. It's the COVID. Like, <laughs> like no, no, no. The game two, week and all. Two, like, my, oh my. two game weeks. Two game weeks ago, I decided screw this. I will take some minus eight, minus sixteen every game week. I just want to have the best possible score for that game. I'm still like shitty with it. Because... No, I think what you're thinking is, I think the flaw in your approach is that taking. Hits is going to get you a bigger score than the hits. I think that's the no, problem I, because what no, you're also planning no, for a double shit. picks. No, I, I realize that I'm never going to get like the, my eventual score is going to almost be the same even if I get like great points. You know. But half the players don't play. Like Arsenal players will not play this time. Right? And so how will you plan for that? You can't plan for that. Which is why I'm saying it doesn't count this year. I said that. Doesn't count. This year doesn't count. Right? Three minute count, uh, three minute rank last week doesn't count. Just don't worry about it. I'll just read out the top five players who's still doing really well. Number one is on mm. fourteen hundred points. My goodness, uh, Ishan Gangguly tangled I'll, up in I'll, blue. I'll, I'll tell you what, Chiram. Premier League will talk about top four. Football, football league will talk about. Will not talk about the first ten at all. <laughs> we'll still not be included. That is a problem. We'll not have to talk about the first ninety-two before I even get in the picture. Oh, won't sound so unachievable, so, right? Okay, okay who's if you say so. Yeah. So, number one yeah. is Ishan Ganguly, tangled up in blue, 1400 points. Number two, Ashwin Pichai, Karthik's best friend, FC Veramari, 1433. Haldankar FC, Raj Haldankar, 1412 points. Kya, Kai Seen, Aditi Shetty, new name, I have not seen this name before, 1407. Parte All Night, 1406. And followed by number six is Suicide Squad, Preeta Konar. Number seven is Ravin Kapoor. Ole Bhature, <laughs> the Konate Kid, Varan Bhat, and Ajbal FC, Ajaz Ahmed on 1391 points. What is wrong with Varan Bhat, man? You are 29, but I played better than him this week, man. What is wrong with hmm. him? Yeah, what is wrong with him is fair if you got more points than him. But <laughs> the point is, the game week is still not over, right? So it's not like I can tell you anything about next game. It's not so yet over. It's... What are you doing? Yeah? You've been saying this for the last three weeks. <laughs> I just told you, it's just one game. game. There are three games which are pending. Actually, four. One of them got postponed. So, there's still three left. Leicester plays Tottenham. Spurs. That's off. That's off. Yeah. As we're recording just now, the message has come that Leicester... Oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, oh, Arsenal. Arsenal is going to take a hike. Ooh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so then Brighton, Chelsea uh, and... Uh, Brighton, Chelsea and Brentford. Brentford. <laughs> Showstopper is right. <laughs> yeah, that's all that's left. So, I mean, do what you want, man. Just wait for Salah to come back. Don't use your chips is all I'm going to say. Wait for some the legit way game week. Playing Salah will come back pretty soon. It's, it's huh. So that's my, hope. that's my hope. He's, he's the top scorer for Egypt in this AFCON, by the way. <laughs> he must be in every AFCON <laughs> now. <laughs> like, how is that a stat? Scored one goal, that's it. Oh, really? So, yeah, yeah. I uh, guess you don't have, uh, you know, Firmino and. Uh... Oh, I heard Vinaldum wants to come to Arsenal. Transfer. Ooh. This is a transfer topic now. When Yardel wants to come back to EPL, he has not been used appropriately, according to him. And uh, he would wish to come back. And Arsenal are apparently in the hunt. That would be a lovely buy. How yeah, do you I think use Liverpool Wijnaldum should get appropriately? How should, how should one use Wijnaldum appropriately? Get him back to Liverpool. They knew how to use him. They'll use him again. And he went out yeah, free. Yeah, he scored so in the Champions League and all. Feelings. My God, yeah. he scored the equalizer and the winner, right? Scored in, uh, in the World Cup qualifying stages also. Exactly, yeah, he did. Who would have thought, right? Genie Vinyardim. 
There are like J's and G's in places you won't ex- yeah. expect, and he's also getting into places you won't expect. Hello, buddy. Are you what's happening outside? Barcelona is still struggling. Are they drawing? With well, the last teams? time are they seventy yeah. points off the top? Don't talk about these teams. They're below no. like Sevilla, Mallorca. Real Madrid won the. No, like they're Super sending Lowe. Dembele to Premier League. Dembele is uh, excited by the prospect of playing. He couldn't in board the. He couldn't <laughs> board the flight. He's injured, so he couldn't get hospital. Wow, the hospital is good. Yeah, sir. I'm going to London. Ayer, what are they? Who's uh, what are Barcelona? Virat Kohli has quit as test captain. That much I can you jinxed it. him, na? Last no. time he scored a century. <laughs> you just jinxed him. <laughs> you <laughs> jinxed him. Jinx, huh? Deep jinx. Yeah, and we lost the series. Yeah, shocking, shocking performance. It's oh, over. Rush. Yeah, yeah, done. Oh, How many no. games did they have in the test match? Three, three matches, and we were leading one. Nil. It should be four, na? No, no, three. This is South Africa, re. Come on. Like, I don't know what that means. No, Achha, you enough. play England, England, Australia, India. Play like four, five, and all. But Sri Lanka, we used to play four. <laughs> Two four right, different man. series <laughs> in four weeks. Yeah, <laughs> different series. <laughs> <laughs> one yeah. tripart, the one uh, triple velocity. What tripart? Tripart I. Tier two, tier three brands just to sponsor, like be title sponsors of those series as well. Are you trying to get uh, the word tri series? Is that tri series? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry, tri series. Yeah, I was like a bilateral series. What is tri? <laughs> So, yeah, buddy, what, I, I, is, uh, yeah. what, what, what do we look forward to, man? What is there to watch? There's nothing to watch in this game week. Next game there week is, is not. Again, this Saturday again. And nothing worth to yeah. watch. What, what do you want to watch? Brentford beating a shirt of Jared again. Yes. I don't think I want to watch that. Why would I would be excited watch? to see Ivan Tony finally get on the scoreboard. Uh, no, no, next game week. Chelsea, Chelsea Spurs. Chelsea Spurs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get postponed. <laughs> United West Ham. That looks good. For West Ham, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Moez against yeah. his his whatever alma mater. What do you want to call United? I don't know. No, X no, company. Alma mater. X company. Yeah, that that's a that's a better term. Lovely, lovely speaking yeah. to you guys. Uh, the Royal Rumble are, is there this weekend. On chalo, chalo, okay, I have to go. Huh, Sunday morning. Morning. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. We'll watch. You ping me. Okay. What is the that, what, that. what 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 is the name of this episode? You had something going on, right? Are you? I was thinking because of uh, we were talking about apologies and everyone keeps apologizing all the time and even Peter Drury had to apologize. I'm sure there's a movie called Maaf somewhere around in Satkhun. No, Satkhun Maaf doesn't make much sense. So something to do with apology. Or can come up with some... <laughs> yeah, that's the movie. Ek Batta Saat it was called then at that point of time. But no, is it, there, there must be something with Maaf or... Sorry. So we're brainstorming. <laughs> sorry yeah. is right. <laughs> sorry is right. right. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> sorry, bhai. sorry is right. Yeah. We should call. So let's call it sorry, bhai. Uh, I can. We can no, just call it Golmal, you know, because it's all confusing right now. We'll be same Golmal for the next one. Uh, thank you again to two of you. Nothing for to look forward to. Please take care. Don't venture out. Uh, wear three masks, everybody. If you're rich, <laughs> three. Uh, we'll, <laughs> too many masks. Two for people have ordered. Two for nose ordered, and mouth and one for face. I ordered way too many masks, and then uh, my wife found this uh, so guy who's father manufactures. No, no, father manufactures masks. So I'm getting like a lot of masks for a lot less money. So I'm gonna like elbow pads also. I'm gonna wear masks. Way too many masks. <laughs> I think <laughs> just don't go out. No, just stay at home. Easier. That's who true. wants to meet you anyway? <laughs> That's also true. Cool. Eh? You two of you will meet me next week when we record again. Till then, see you guys. Oh my God. So if you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IBM network. You can listen to us on the IBM podcast app or ibmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on our social media handles. We are at IBM podcast on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I'm Fickleberry Hun on Twitter and Instagram. That's Huckleberry Finn, but Fickle. Uh, if you want to reach out to me, I am Sapre on Twitter and G Sapre on Instagram. You can reach out to me at Irant, which is I Y E R A N T on Twitter and Instagram. This is football. Should ball recognize? Hey everybody! It's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On the Habit Coach, Ashton talks to holistic health coach Chris Gibson about the various aspects of skincare routines. On the longest constitution, Priya deconstructs an important judgment on reservations with the Indra Sony case. On Ikka Dukka economy, Abhinav and Dr. Bharat Junjunwala analyze how the dynamics of a typical government job have changed over the years. And on the life manifesto, Zarina teaches us how we can become better decision makers. 
Do follow us on social media. We're IBM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. We really do appreciate the word of mouth. Also, don't forget to rate us on any of the platforms that you're listening to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever it is. And we are also on YouTube. On YouTube, you can check out our various channels on ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Bank of Baroda and CoinSwitch Kuber. Thank you for making this possible. Namaste, this is Cyrus Brocha. I am part of the government cancel culture program to remove rubbish off all the different streams available. So what we have is all the collected rubbish we put together on our show. It's called Cyrus Says. It's on IVM Podcast. You have to watch it and listen to it. It's on our app. It's on our website. It's on the YouTube channel. It's on Facebook. There are many different ways. Don't bother me and ask me how. Uh, you have to find out. We talk to different personalities. Many of them are known. Some are just people we meet downstairs and invite them up for chai. But the point is, it's fun and it's very therapeutic. So please join in and listen to Cyrus Says. 